a automotive reviews the four bronco suspension position sensitive escv shocks explained by bilston bilstein the new ford bronco is poised to conquer any off-road terrain you can throw at it one of its major selling points is the hoss suspension system and trick bilston position sensitive end stop control valve known as the escv dampers these parts promise to deliver excellent off-road stability at higher speeds in great position at lower speeds while host just stands for high performance off-road stability suspension those Bilstein shocks are far more technical addition to the off-road arsenal found in the Ford Bronco thanks to a post in Bronco 6G form here's exactly how they work and can provide a handy visual compared to traditional shocks which operate by pushing a piston through a pressurized hydraulic fluid the Bronco ESCV Bilstein shocks have three main advantages an external reservoir, reservoir, <laughs> reservoir compression ESCV and rebound ESCV the shocks external reservoirs essentially add extra fluid volume to the dampers so when the piston compresses the shock can move some of the fluid to the external reservoir helping speed up the heat dissipation now next the compression end stop control valve provides additional and improved control to big impacts when the shock compresses there's a small spring at the bottom of the damper that increases resistance and at the end of the shock travel in other words when the Bronco hits a large bump there's added resistance to the end of the shock travel to avoid bottoming out abruptly this will be especially helpful if the vehicle is landing after being airborne or when hitting jarring bumps Now finally the rebound end stop control valve works in almost the opposite way. It adds resistance to the shock at the end of the rebound position, avoiding running out of travel abruptly. For example, this will reduce the noticeable cling at the end of the shock rebound when all the four wheels leave the ground. The Ford Bronco will obviously benefit from the special Bilstein shocks. Off road, but also on road. They will have a more car like soft middle travel, helping on and off road comfort. But the compression and rebound and stop control valves will provide better control and protection for hitting larger obstacles. Not all Ford Bronco suspension systems will feature these shocks. They are standard on the higher performance, Badlands, Wild Track, and First Edition models. But you'll have to get the Sasquatch package to get them on the lower trends. So we can take a look at the suspension just to see how the setup is on the Ford Bronco. What a nice setup, folks. Now 
the Ford has been an important part of the automotive industry. Uh, for name, you know, if you look at it for more than a century, its own history centers around iconic models such as the Ford F-150 pickup and a sporty Mustang pony car. Now, the Blue Oval brand recently made a controversial decision to stop producing sedans and hatchback models, such as the Focus and the Fusion, and favor the SUV and the crossover. It's now rolling out attractive redesigns of the popular SUV, such as the Escape and the Explorer, the Ranger, the mid-sized pickup, and recently returned to the lineup. But it lacks the, uh, the refinement found in the competitors, such as the uh, Honda Ridgeline or the Chevy Colorado. So now here comes the 2021 Ford Bronco at $29,995. The Ford Bronco returns to battle the Jeep Wrangler for the trail rated throne. With exciting capabilities and retro styling that give it an edge over the competition. And this is legendary folks. Now, Ford resurrects the Bronco 9 plate and it emulates the old school and the off-road pedigree of its iconic mid-1960 predecessor. Now that Ford has revealed the thing we have as much better idea of its capability specification, the new Bronco is definitely going to arrive in dealerships in 2021. And the pricing, of course, like we said earlier, starting at $29,995 and then the Big Ben at $34,480. Black Diamond at $37,545 and the Outer Banks at $40,450. And the Badlands at $43,590. And then the Wild Track at $50,370. And the First Edition at $60,800. And the base two door Broncos starts about thirty thousand dollars, but upgrading to the upper trims gets expensive quickly. Now the configuration would be, you know, the best one. It seemed like it would be a four door with a more powerful engine. It needs to have the off road hardware to live up to its roots. Now to point everything in the right direction, the Bronco Raw Track, which comes standard with the seventeen inch. Be like capable wheels and the huge 35 inch mud terrain tires. Well, definitely nice. Of course, we all know about the 2.3 liter uh, inline four, which makes 270 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque. Now, the other option being twin turbo, a 2.7 liter V6. Which is going to be generating 306 horses and 400 pound-feet of torque. And interior and comfort, of course, is going to be available with uh, the two or the four doors. And as you see here, it has that really nice navigation system in it, and it's going to be having the off-road terrain navigation, terrain navigation and everything else. The GOAT mode, as you see here, the nice um, instrument uh, cluster. Everything about it is just nice. You even got the grab handles for when you jump out of the um, Bronco and you want to get into something else. And that's the back seat room. It's a lot of, definitely a lot of space in the back seat. And then you have the grab handles over here too as well. And this steering wheel is definitely nice, folks. And you have the auxiliary lighting system and everything up here too as well. 
So you have a place to put your cell phone, your cameras, and everything right up here. And again, a closer look at the navigation system. I like the flat, fact that it's like flat with everything up here. Everything is watertight too as well. So you don't have to worry about water damaging any of your electronics or anything. Now the, the suspension system that's included on this Bronco is the same suspension system that you see on this Ford F-150. So the suspension system is not something new to the Ford Bronco. It's the same setup that you also see on a Ford F-150 to an extent. And as you see here, you see the spring system that we talked about earlier to prevent you from, to, to prevent the clean, so when, I, when the SUV gets airborne, and also to prevent it from bottoming out. Just wanted to show you guys about the suspension system with the Ford Bronco. And why it's so special. Say your automotive reviews. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, and thanks for subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more interesting videos.